Oh. Okay, so nakuha ko na nga yung uh, Hot 20S and no, hindi to dineliver sa amin ng Flash Express. Pinikap ko to mismo mula sa warehouse ng Flash Express kanin-kanina lang. Tapos ayun, bago nga ako magsimula sa aking unboxing and first impressions ng Infinix Hot 20S, is uh, medyo story time muna tayo. Short story lang naman. And of course, sa mga ayaw makinig is ito ang timestamp sa mga gustong mag-skip na sa part na yun. So makikita nyo dito, December 6, ko dapat makukuha yung Infinix Hot 20S na in-order ko. December 8 na ngayon, as of making this video, and nun dinaanan ko nga sa warehouse nila. And uh, to be fair, ayokong like parang siraan. Ayoko naman talagang siraan. Like ayoko magmukhang masama yung uh, Flash Express dito kasi yun dun sa warehouse nila dito sa Bulacan is dalawa lang sila. Legit. L dalawa lang sila nandoon. Tapos nagkataon yung mismong rider na magdi-deliver sa akin dapat ng parcel ko is day off pala ngayon. Binanggit sa akin nila kuya dun kanina. So in this case, more of kasalanan to ni Kuya Rider kesa ng Flash Express mismo kasi um, dapat nga December 6 pa to out for delivery. Tapos siguro mas maintindihan ko pa kung si Kuya Rider, si Kuya P. Ibablur ko na yung pangalan niya. Ayoko naman maging masyadong kupal. So ayun na nga, si Papa P is hindi man lang ako tinex, hindi man lang ako tinawagan, hindi ako in-update um, kung kailan niya madi-deliver yung parcel ko or wala man lang, pasensya sir, ah, nagka-problema kasi ganun. Nagkataon nga na December 8 ngayon, 2 days na na out for delivery yung parcel ko, day off niya nga ngayon. Ni wala man lang update sa akin. Again, walang kaso sa akin kung na-update niya man lang ako, pero hindi, wala man lang kahit ng text, message, um, tawag, update, ganun. So, ako ba yung kupal at nirarant ko si Kuyang Rider? Hindi naman siguro ata. Kasi, again, December 6 pa nga dapat, out for delivery yung order ko. And almost always, laging, kapag nakita ko yung notification na yun sa phone ko, sa app ganun, is that same day, makukuha ko din yung parcel ko. Ngayon lang nangyari to na 2 days delay yung out for delivery na message na yan. And just to make it clear, hindi ko dito sinisisi yung store na binilan ko, let alone Infinix. Um... Ewan ko, medyo siguro sa part ng Flash Express para ayoko masyadong sisihin sila. As, ang naging problema nga is si Kuya Rider. Wala ngang text, message, update. Ayun, day off niya pala ngayon. Tapos, 2 days na delay na out for delivery yung parcel ko. Day off niya ngayon, wala man lang kahit anong uh, update nga. Ayoko ko saan nag-add talaga ng drama sa channel pero naiirita ako. Um, like, pakabuhayan ko to eh. Yung mga binibili kong phone na to, um, nara-review ko, lalo na as a small channel, gusto ko makapag-put out ng content as fast as possible, of course, while maintaining uh, decent quality pa din ng content na ina-upload ko. Feeling ko understandable naman yung uh, frustration ko dito. But yeah, moving on na po tayo sa unboxing nito So while here, inaisip ko na lang actually na pa-cancel na lang order na to and uh, bilhin ko na lang yung uh, Infinix Zero 5G 2023 version for a review. Naisip ko na lang din na this is a way better value compared to that phone. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, release sa ating phone 9 for around 11 to 12K and ito 8K lang to with insane specs. So yeah, dito na nga na uwi yung review ko. Yeah, a, a bit late. Actually, significantly late. Uh, but yeah, this is the Infinix Hot 20S Free Fire. Um, so, this comes with 8 gigs of memory, pero up to 13 gigs. So, yung parang RAM expansion shit technology, nakalunta ko na yun. Uh, MediaTek Helio G96, uh, 120Hz, uh, Full HD Hyper Vision Display. Uh, feeling ko yung Hyper Vision na yun, yung high touch sampling rate lang ata yun, if I'm not mistaken. And yan, nasa kaliwa ng box. On the right side, at the top, Infinix logo. And at the bottom, yan nga. Yung binili ko nga is yung black color variant. And uh, yung Infinix at 20S is uh, one memory and storage capacity uh, variant lang ata siya, which has 8 gigs of memory and 128 gigs of storage. And again, a MediaTek Helio G96, insane processor, uh, 120 hertz, 6.78 inch display, uh, 50 megapixel main sensor on a triple camera setup. Um, yeah, up to 13 gigs of memory, which 8 gigs is already plenty for even like a high-end flagship smartphone. But yeah, uh, 5,000 mAh battery with 18 watts of fast charging, 
plus a gaming turbo a cooling and lighting game booster not sure what that means but yeah and apparently this already comes with android 12 so yeah para sa akin sa mga nag-iisip bumili ng um, yung papalaisang bagay is uh, ayan kasi madalas pag nakareceive ako ng phone online from either Shopee or Lazada is uh, yung mga phones is bubble wrap in a box tapos bubble wrap again or kahit na hindi bubble wrap yung box na pinaglagyan nito is bubble wrap lang mismo to kanina so kanina nung ano chinek ko if okay ba yung condition ng box is nung uh, in-slice ko is medyo nadamay and nasugatan yung box mismo so yan at yan na pala kailangan yung knife ko para dito so again nga um, sa mga nagbabalak uh, hintayin yung Infinix uh, 05G na 2023 uh, para sa akin dito na lang kayo kaysa magganong kayo kasi main difference lang yes while uh, faster yung chipset nun and more efficient pero ang main advantage lang naman ng 05G is obviously yun may 5G and para sa akin 5G doesn't really matter right now and uh, masyadong na overhype yung mga tao sa 5G basically para sa akin pero yun nga <laughs> so yeah there we have the phone itself uh, sim ejector tool ito pala yung warranty card mismo and may dull na naman ako yung X Club na uh, honestly I couldn't care less about right now and shout out sa Infinix um, kung ayaw nyo ako mahirapan if you care about me isa sa mga fans nyo um, na bumibili and nararabi yung products nyo dito sa YouTube is baka pwede nyo akong padalan products for review kahit hindi naman yung mga sobrang mga high end nyo na mga phones kahit yung mga gantong budget eh sobrang saya ko na so be kayo lang naman post yes matigas nga mukha ko mga kaibigan and ito yung charging cable, orange accents, parang sa Xiaomi lang, uh, type A to type C, and yung charging brick na up to 18 watts lang yung max na output niya. And first time ko pala mag-unbox gamit yung top-down setup ko na to, um, nakaka-refresh kasi walang hindrance dito sa harap ko. So usually dati tripod gamit ko eh. And ang ganda actually. Kahit na glossy plastic to, it looks uh, pretty good for the most part. And nga pala sa pricing nito, I was able to buy this for 8,000 pesos. And for these specs that it offers is ang insane ng value na yun. So that's a large 6 point, almost a 7 inch display basically. A pre-installed plastic screen protector which tatanggaling ko. Nabuksan ko na din yung phone at the same time. Plastic train protector. Again, uh, triple camera setup, two large um, circles here. So, at least maganda dito is wala na siyang parang hiwalay na camera bump or module na kung saan uh, may additional bump pa para dito sa lenses ng camera mismo. Uh, LED flash, quad LED flash pa yan. So, we have a 50 megapixel main sensor, 2 megapixel macro, and 2 megapixel depth sensor. Ngayon, ang gusto ko talaga dito is dual stereo speakers kahit walang parang hole dito sa top ng phone mukhang magagaling lang natin sounds dito sa earpiece speaker grill uh, at the bottom a 3.5mm jack, uh, main microphone um, USB Type-C charging port and bottom firing speaker sa left side, SIM card tray uh, right side, power button slash fingerprint scanner and the volume rockers. and it feels okay naman not the clickiest, actually the volume rockers feel way better kumpara sa uh, power button since ito flat to kaya siguro ganun yung feeling nung ano uh, power button so we have glass at the front for the 6.78 inch uh, IPS LCD display uh, hindi ni specify ni Infinix like what specific glass yung ginamit nila sa front but we do have a plastic frame a plastic back I uh, would have preferred this to be um, a matte finish or parang frosted glass finish yung finish ha hindi glass mismo yung back pero yun as nakikita nyo naman is uh, fingerprint magneti talaga siya and uh, yeah wala talaga magagawa ganun yung ginawa ng Infinix dito eh so dimensions nito is 6.64 inch um, tall uh, 3 inches 3.02 inches uh, wide and 0.33 inches thick and weighs about 202 grams and nakaka off lang uh, matagal na din to is uh, itong budget smartphone na to with insane specs basically mid range specs is um, has more features compared to most flagship smartphones these days. Uh, we do have a 3.5mm headphone jack and 
a micro SD card slot here with the dual SIM card tray. And siguro masilip saglit yung SIM card tray if... Okay, so maganda pala dito is... Um, ayan, dual SIMs and a micro SD card. Hindi siya yung parang uh, combo, like may isang SIM, tapos yung isa either a SIM card and a micro SD card, or a micro SD card. And kahit hindi specified ng Infinix, if uh, waterproof, uh, water resistant yung uh, Hot 20S, is meron pa din siyang rubber seal dito, which tells me na at least... Um, you can use the Infinix uh, Hot 20S in the rain or in the shower, but not to uh, swim with it. Take note that. Now, yeah, I'm just gonna set this up real quick and come back to you guys in a bit. A few days later. Okay, nagbabalik na po tayo at sobrang ginabi na ako ngayon. Take note ha. Um, dahil sa Genshin Impact na to, nag-end yung unang recording ko kanina ng 5.30. 8pm na ngayon. Yan, tignan nyo. 8pm na ngayon. Inabot ako ng more than 2 hours para sa litik na to. <laughs> I mean, ito kasi yung benchmark ko, so yeah, dahil naman talaga mga gawa. Pero yun, ayoko masyado mag-focus sa mga negative. And this being my second phone from Infinix is, wow, ang ganda ng speakers nito Like, significantly, hindi lang pala significantly, worlds better kumpara dun sa sobrang shit na speakers ng 2022 nila na 05G. Uh, dual stereo speakers nga to and marinig yung mamaya yung uh, sound quality nga ng speakers na ito pagkatapos matapos na yung tech na loading na to at yeah siguro habang naglo-loading yan uh, one thing about the display so sa IPS LCD display na to is um, as of now yeah it gets plenty bright considering na uh, indoors ako pero medyo kinakabahan ako kasi mukhang ano um, it doesn't get plenty bright under direct sunlight, malaman ko pa yung pag ko. Pero as of now, mukhang okay naman yung uh, level ng brightness ng display nito. So again, 6.78 inch na IPS LCD display. Uh, 120Hz display to. So very nice. And pasensya nga pala kung maririn nyo yung hopefully. Hindi naman masyado mapick up na microphone ko. May mga kumakanta naman sa kapitbahay namin mga kaibigan. And so far, for a big phone with a plastic back and uh, plastic frame, is ang solid ng build quality niya. Like, makikita nyo. Yeah, pretty solid naman. There's just a tiny bit of flex if I try to uh, bend it. But other than that, uh, pretty solid ang build quality. And of course, uh, you know me, hindi ako fan ng uh, glossy plastic back na to. Na I get na budget phone siya. And I don't mind talaga na plastic yung back ng mga budget phones. Pero sana gawin man lang na, na matte finish or yung parang Yan sabi ko na frosted glass finish although yan ang call para may pattern siya na parang gradient effect uh, when it hits uh, the right angle sa ilaw na to. Bakit ganito to? Bakit? So obviously para sa inyo mga viewers eh, hindi ganun ka painful to na sobrang tagal mag-loading. Gusto ko lang yung quick uh, gaming test para sa Genshin Impact pero hindi ko magawa agad. So yun, kaka-reset ko lang ng Genshin Impact setting it at the highest graphics preset, um, uh, motion blur turned off, and at 60fps tayo ngayon. Okay, so so far masabi ko at the highest graphic settings, a 6fps motion blur turned off. It's not the smoothest experience although it is still uh, pretty nice. Um, so siguro high graphic settings to even with a MediaTek Helio G96. Um, but yeah, for the most part, this is really great um, minimal stutters and frame drops that I would say barely noticeable siya for the most part. Of course, more on this sa uh, full review ko neto. And so far, masabi ko naman na hindi ko naman ata kailangan gawa ng full review to. Although, of course, gagawa pa din ako ng full review for the Infinix uh, Hot 20S. Uh, so far, I can see na this is a real great value smartphone. Na kahit hindi ko pa nare-release yung full review ko pa dito, I can already easily recommend this to anyone. Of course, again, 8K, 120Hz, uh, MediaTek Helio G96. That's uh, pretty insane. So, so far sa Genshin Impact, masabi ko na kung gusto mo talaga yung solid na 60fps talaga is uh, high graphic settings, hindi yung highest graphics preset. yung microphone
Of course, masasabi ko na it's not as loud as the speakers sa Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus ko. Pero this is an insane quality uh, coming from a smartphone that costs uh, under 10,000 Philippine pesos. Ngayon, pagdating naman, last up is sa uh, battery life neto. So again, 5,000 mAh battery, uh, 18 watts of fast charging. And considering na hindi ganun ka-efficient yung G96 na nandito, is uh, assume ko for lighter users, siguro mga 2-day battery life for uh, someone like me. So siguro 6 hours of screen on time with about siguro 30% left by the end of the day. But of course, that's something na confirm ko and uh, malalaman ko pa in my full review of this which will be in one week. Ano ka pala mo, tingin makalimutan is quick uh, camera test. So ang gagamitin ko dito is yung parang default na photo mode nito, yung AI cam and uh, enough ko yung uh, auto HDR and of course flash. So, so actually that's quite nice although I am viewing this through the display of the phone. More on the camera quality on this, of course, in my full review. And isa pang test shot. Buti ng Pellegrino. And ito pa yung isang test shot natin. But yeah, if you want to get yourself an Infinix uh, Hot 20S right now, uh, then I'll leave the links in the description of this video. As always, leaving a like is the easiest way to support the channel. Uh, consider subscribing if you like my content and turn on notifications for all so you'll be updated on my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Now I'm serving in Tesla Going back, shawty with me, I stepped up GTA for the Ops, ain't no less stuff Shawty born to be my angel, yeah, I'm blessed up Cooking right up in the stool, got a chance